Good evening, my devilishly delightful creatures of the night. Welcome back to another hair-raising edition of Coffin Talk, where we dig deep into the haunted history of all things spooky. Tonight, we're unmasking the grand evolution of the scariest night of the year, Halloween! This is Halloween! Yes, my dearies, tonight we take a darkly nostalgic journey through the decades to explore how this beloved holiday has transformed from its eerie origins to the commercialized candy-filled carnival of today. So pour yourself a bubbling cauldron of witch's brew, settle in and let's unravel the mysteries behind Halloween's haunting evolution. To understand how Halloween has changed over the decades, we must first begin at the root, the ancient festival of Samhain. Long before we were carving pumpkins and dressing up as zombies, the Celts in Ireland and Scotland were making the end of the harvest season a festival where the veil between the world of the living and the dead was said to be its thinnest. But my friends, it wasn't all goblins and ghosts back then. Samhain was a time to honor the dead and prepare for the harsh winter months. Bonfires were lit, animal sacrifices were made, and yes, Costumes were worn, though back then they were more like animal skins than the charming Dracula capes we know today. Fast forward to the 8th century and things start to change. The Catholic Church tried to tame this wild pagan festival by moving All Saints Day or All Hallows Day to November 1st creating what we now call Halloween or All Hallows' Eve. However, it would still take centuries before the holiday took its more familiar form. Now, let's creep ahead to the turn of the 20th century. Ah yes, the 1900s, when Halloween in America was more of a quaint neighborhood gathering than the spooky spectacle it is today. Children still dressed in costumes, but these were homemade affairs, usually ghosts, witches, or hobos. Back then, Halloween was a mix of parlor games, apple bobbing, and pranks often called mischief night. Wait, mis mischief, mis mischief night. It was more tricks than treats, my dears. People would tip over the outhouses or soap windows, which if you ask me is much more annoying than a haunted mansion. But soon the holiday began to transform into something even more enchanting. During the 1920s and 30s, Halloween parties for both children and adults became the norm. It was during this time that costume parties began to take off and trick-or-treating. A relatively new concept started to gain traction. The spooky atmosphere remained, but it was becoming more organized. Less about terror and much more about fun. Ah, but if we skip ahead to the 1950s, we start to see Halloween as the candy-fueled extravaganza we recognize today. This was the era of post-war suburban growth, where houses were lined up like coffins in a graveyard, perfect for the rise of trick-or-treating as we know it. During this time, Halloween was really marketed towards children. Costumes became less about homemade ghouls and more about popular culture. Think cowboys, ballerinas, Zorro, and those classic plastic masks that made it hard to breathe. Thanks a lot, Ben Cooper. No, we truly love him. Ooh, new documentary for Ben Cooper is coming out soon on Apple TV, Apple Plus, something with the Apple. It was also during this time that TV shows and cartoons started embracing Halloween, with the Peanuts giving us the legendary Great Pumpkin special in 1966. Oh, Linus always waiting, always hoping. Yeah, we all, we all feel that, Linus. Stupid! What do you mean, stupid? Just wait till next year, Charlie Brown. You'll see. Next year at this same time, I'll find a pumpkin patch that is real sincere. But then came the 1970s, and Halloween took a turn for the macabre. <laughs> Ooh, this was when horror truly bled into the holiday. It was the decade of the slasher films and horror icons that defined a generation. And no discussion of Halloween in the 70s would be complete without mentioning the movie Halloween. Yes, 
John Carpenter's 1978 masterpiece, which gave us the mass killer Michael Myers, forever linked the holiday with pure, unrelenting terror. It ushered in a new era of Halloween-themed horror films that would dominate October movie marathons for decades to come. And it's this shift, my friends, that made Halloween as much about fear as it is about fun. <laughs> ah, but even as Halloween embraced its darker, bloodier side, it remained a cherished celebration for families and kids alike. Moving into the 1980s, we started to see even more elaborate costumes, the rise of the haunted house attractions, and of course Halloween-themed TV specials and movies like Hocus Pocus and Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas would solidify Halloween as a pop culture darling we know today. Now, let's talk about the modern age, shall we? Halloween in the 21st century is a full-blown phenomenon. It's no longer just one night of the year. It's an entire season. From September through October, stores line their shelves with every possible Halloween-themed product. Theme parks host haunted nights with actors dressed as zombies, vampires, terrifying us to the brink of madness. Social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok are flooded with costume ideas, spooky makeup tutorials, and Halloween challenges. Jody, what's a TikTok? Is it about, oh, Grandfather Clarks, I assume. Mm. Ah. But in all this glitz, glam, and pumpkin spice, something remarkable has happened. Halloween has become a celebration not just of fear, but of community, creativity, and expression. People now use the holiday to show off their creativity, be it through costumes, decorations, or parties. Adults have reclaimed Halloween, too, with spooky cocktail parties, murder mystery dinners, and even massive haunted house tours across the country. Of course, with all of this commercialization, some purists might say that Halloween has lost its original spirit. That dark magic of the night has been replaced with shiny costumes in corporate sponsored haunted houses. But I say Halloween's magic has never been stronger. Whether you're a fan of trick-or-treating, dressing up, or scaring your neighbors, or just watching endless horror films, Halloween has something for everyone. It has transformed with each decade, taking on new meanings, new traditions, and evolving with the times. Yes, at its heart, Halloween remains the night where anything is possible, where ghosts roam the streets, and the veil between the living and the dead become just a little bit thinner. And that, my fiendish friends, will never change. So, here's to Halloween past, present, and future, may it continue to haunt our hearts and imaginations for many more decades to come. Until next time, my dear ghouls and goblins, remember, stay spooky, stay curious, and always check your candy. This has been Coffin Talk. Until we meet again in the shadows, hit like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Happy haunting to you all. <laughs>